so what we're gonna look at first is uh, just an overall look at co-contraction of the back hip. Right there gets to the quad a little bit, but that's not bad, Joe. That's wow, that's gotten so much better. Okay, so on that one, that first one, the co-contraction, you're gonna get a a grello. It's like between a green and a yellow. Okay, almost great. Okay, now we're going to look at, do you shift to the ball of the foot prematurely? So let's zoom in on the one on the right here. And what you'll see is if we watch right here. Right there, we're on the ball of the foot. See that right there? We'd like to see that heel on the ground still. And that'll make us more co-contracting instead of being quad dominant. But it's not bad, okay? So it's a yellow. <clears throat> and now... The quality of your pelvic tilt over here, we want this hip to be higher than this one and the hips and shoulders to be parallel, and they oh, wait, are. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. So, wait, co contraction is the muscles around the back hip is what? Oh, Grello. That was a green yellow. What was the counter rotation? Oh, I skipped it. My fault. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. Counter rotation was green. green. The reason I skipped it because you didn't do it. Okay. And then shifting the ball of foot prematurely is a yellow. And then butt behind here, I mean, a quality of your pelvic tilt is green. You can see this hip is higher than this one. Hips and shoulders are parallel. Direction of your load should be right here. And it is spot on green. Wow, Joe, this looks really good, bro. Nice. Okay, butt behind heel, yep, green. Back knee forward of toe, a little bit. See that right there? That's a yellow. So butt behind heel is green. Knee forward of toe is yellow. That's just that slight quad dominance right there where you get on the heel. And it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Direction of load was, was green. And then butt behind knee was green. Green. Yellow, yeah, you got it, okay. Right, got it. Now we're going to um, the lead leg, okay? So we're looking at the two kneecaps. See which one opens first. Let's slow that down a little bit. Wow, that's pretty good. That's a grello as well. Look how the back knee turns and then puts the front knee on the ground. That's great. Okay, holy cow, this is so good. Okay, now your lead leg, so lead leg opens independently early is green, okay? Um, and then swing leg retraction foot plant from above. As it comes in, it lands from above. So that's a green. And it's really good. And then does it pull here for the negative Y? You bet it does, green. And now we're going to go to... Does the front knee leak forward? There's weight bearing right there. I don't even know who you are, Joe. This is so good. <laughs> this is so good. Green. Front knee wobbles laterally here. Green. Wow. Okay. Boom. <coughs> and boom. And now. We're going to look at uh, the trunk attractor. I mean, the arm attractor. Sorry, uh, acromial line is green. Pronated takeaway is green. Inverted W is green. Elevated distal humerus is green. Forearm flyout. This angle here is green. And forearm play is green. Arm action is fantastic. And then now we're going to go to, whoops to your trunk contractor at weight bearing foot plant which is right there you can see your hamstring muscles on your chest is facing the camera your pelvis is going forward you got to stretch across your abdominals there that's green chest out while rotating right here there's your chest out while you rotate that's green hips then shoulders hips come first then shoulders come later that's green and then next we're going to look at your back leg hip rotation okay over oh, lateral postural disconnection is green also by the way okay there's none so now here at release you can see that you've rotated into that back hip nicely and that is green hips are parallel that is green releases the ball significantly out front you're getting to late launch that is green i skipped glove side sorry sorry skip glove side let's look at glove side glove side scap retraction is green glove side co-contraction is green. What about the chest out while rotating? Green. Oh, 
Lateral postural disconnection is also green. Glove side uh, scap retraction is green. Glove side co-contraction is green. Glove side freezing in space. Watch right here as it lets us know that your abdominals hit co-contraction because it'll stop moving. It'll and kind of pop back up. Okay, so that's green. All right. And now we're going to go to the back hip rotation attractor where we were before I skipped that. Okay. So right here, foot is on the ground. And at release, your toes on the ground, that's green. Hips are parallel, that's green. And late launch is green. Okay. Now we go D cell. Shoulder internally rotates, green. Elbow stays loose and bent, green. Shoulder straight places, green. Continues rotating around the front hip. We're going to go yellow there. See how you stop yourself right there? Mm -hmm. And so that's going to be yellow. And then elbow across the midline of the body, green. And late bang on the posterior shoulder, green. Wow, Joe. Really, really good video. Congratulations. You've done great work here. This is fantastic. Okay. So that's uh, 